Teresa. Today we're going to learn about how to say I was born. I was born in Aberystwyth. I was born in 1992. Ceir any. I was born. Geni. To be born. Geni. Ceir any. Ceir any. I was born. Care sieving any. Care any is made up of two distinct parts. The first bit, care see, is made of a bit of the verb to have. Care see, I had. The next bit, ving any, is made up of the possessive, my birth. Care see, ving any, I had my birth. Here's our verb to have, Kyle. And here's the past tense, care see, I had. Now you may see this version too, care see. That's fine, you can use either. Here's the whole verb, Kyle, to have in the past tense. Care see, care see, cavo de, cavo de, cavo de Linda, Kausuni. Kausuchi, Kausunhu. Again, you may have seen a slightly different version. Gersi, Gersti, Gaithe, Gaithi, Gaithlinda, Gaithoni, Gaithuchi, Gaithanhu. Now we use both of these versions when we're wanting to talk about when someone was born or where they were born. Kersiving any, Kersti de any, Kavo de e any and so on. Today we're going to concentrate on Kersi, I was born. You may also see this version, mi Gersi, mi Gersti. You can use any of these versions, whichever you feel is most appropriate to you. It might be the version that you find easiest to remember. It might be the version that sounds like the Welsh other people you speak to speak. So for example, if you're living in a particular part of Wales where they use mi Gersi, go for that. If you prefer Kersi because you find it easier to say or to remember, you can choose that too. Here's our sentence again. Kersi any. I was born. Here are our other versions again. Kersi any, Gersi any, or me Gersi any. That word geni there sounds like ngeni. There's no hard g in that sound. Kersi Here's a question. Blair guessed he de any. Where were you born? Or where did you have your birth? Blair guessed he de any. Kersi ving any and in London. Kersi ving any and Kersiving any an abertawe. Kersiving any an abertawe. I was born in Swansea. Kersiving any an Nevin. I was born in Nevin. Kersiving any an Nevin. Kersiving any a Mathri. Kersiving any a Mangor. I was born in Mathri. I was born in Banga. You can also begin to see here how the word un has changed to um. We'll get to that in a bit. Kersiving any un nolgallai. Kersiving any un nimbich. I was born in Dogallai. I was born in Denby. Kersiving any un higher. You might not recognise these as Welsh place names. That's because the top one, Cair, is Chester and the bottom is Edinburgh. I've underlined here the nasal mutation that we see in Geni, Vngeni. 
That's trigladrinal, nasal mutation. Uh, but we also see the nasal mutation here after the word un, meaning in. Un hergabi amathri, for example. Here's a reminder of that trigladrinal table there, the nasal mutation. It's not a very popular one. People find it tricky to look at and to say. The best way to learn the nasal mutation is by listening. Nhonapandi, nhairdis, mhontapris, mangor, nolgellai, ngarnant. Unusually, the word un also changes when it causes that nasal mutation. You can see here, un becomes ng or um, depending on which letter it follows. And we can see from the table that, for example, C changes to NGH, well, so is the un changes to YNG too. Take your time to have a practice of those. Here's some examples. Nhonapandi, nghair, mhontapridh, mangor, nolgellai, ngarnant. Really what's happening is we're repeating the letter, uh, we're writing it down a second time, but the two words kind of mush into each other. So ngarnant, for example, and mangor. There's only one m sound there. Mhontapridh, still only one m, but an h sound to lift it to. You can always come back to this video and practice the sounds again. Nhonapandi, nghair. Um hontapreeth, um mangor, um nolgellai, ngarnant. Remember too that the nasal mutation only affects six letters. So if your place name doesn't belong to one of those six letters, then you don't need to worry about it. Um llanelli, for example. Another question you might come across. Pryd gesti de eni? When were you born? Pryd gesti de eni? Kesiung any um meal now now die. Kesiung any um meal now pim huich. Kesiung any um nui feel. There you go, there's that um and un mutation there going on with these numbers too. Meal now now die. Um meal now now die. Um meal now pim huich. You will sometimes hear people saying un e now now die and other sort of combinations of numbers to say what year they were born. But this is uh, a good version for you to learn. Kesiving any a misoust. Kesiving any a mismedi. I was born in August. I was born in September. Kesiving any a guanwen. I was born in the spring. Kesiving any an arhadrev. I was born in the autumn. So here's a little recap of some of the patterns that we've been learning today. Pridgestida any, when were you born? And blegestida any, where were you born? And we can answer those questions by saying, I was born in a particular year or a particular town, and um, as well as saying, I was born in a particular season or month. Uh, we remember that the pattern is made up of the past tense of to have, kesi, I had, and the possessive here, my birth, vangeni. It's a quite a different pattern to how we form um, our English or sort of equivalent. Um, so it may take a little bit of getting used to. But this pattern here, it's called the passive, is going to be cropping up lots and lots um, as you learn Kimlaig. Uh, and I'll be doing more videos about it in the future. I hope you've enjoyed that video. I hope it was useful for you today. Do check out uh, the website www.tavi-kamraig.co.uk if you'd like to see more videos and lots of other resources to help you deski kamraig. Pobluk, malachitro nesa.